New day, new creature pasta. This time we're going for Sally Williams. Oh no. Alright, let me go ahead and explain this real quick. If the creepypasta character is a young child like Sally here, I will have moments of heartbreak because these were just little kids when they were killed and became creepypastas. They still had so much left to live for and yet someone else decides to come in and take it away from them. I don't like it. It hurts me. Purse. It hurts me mentally to know that little kids like these had their entire life taken away from them from someone else. Let's let's just hurry on and get into the backstory before I die of heartbreak. Alrighty, now we head into the backstory for Sally Williams. I don't want to take too much time because I want to. It's usually the, it's usually any creepypasta stories that involve the kid, uh, the kids. Those are the ones that make my heart hurt the most because these were just kids when they became creepypastas. They didn't deserve this. They had so much left to live for. We got play with me, Sally's most famous quote. Sally Maryam Williams, more commonly known as Sally, is the main protagonist of the creepypasta story Play With Me. She's a young female spirit who is killed by her uncle. Ever since her unfortunate death, Sally continues to haunt her old house, scaring the living daylights out of its current residence and happily playing with its younger ones. Sally was a young happy 12-year-old girl living with her parents in a small town. One day, Sally's uncle, Johnny, came to her home and befriended Sally at first. After tucking Sally in bed, Johnny raped Sally and told her not to tell anyone what he did since it was only a game. I just said it. The, the freaking kid creepypasta stories are the ones that hurt me the most. And that right there proves it. Sally stayed quiet about this as this sexual abuse went on, and one day, when Sally's mother and Sally were alone, Sally bursts into tears and tries to tell her mother what happened by saying, I didn't want to play his game. Her mother didn't understand and just excused her crying as a bad dream. Johnny then overheard Sally's mother telling Sally's father about what Sally had just told her. Burning with rage, Johnny then told Sally's mother that he was heading to the store and was taking Sally with him since she allegedly wanted to go too. Johnny with Sally in his car then traveled to the park instead of the market. He pinned Sally to the ground, beat her up, and violated her again before smashing her head with a rock, killing her and leaving her dead on the grass. Sally came back as a poltergeist and after scaring her uncle to death in his jail cell, she stays back in her old house playing with the kids and scaring the older people. Johnny deserved that. Johnny deserved to be scared to death in his jail cell. Definitely deserved. Sally normally appears as a young girl with a pink, dirty and blood-stained dress and white socks. Her eyes are bright green, her hair is curly and brown, and her skin is normally seen as dirty, with cuts and bruises all over her body. Yeah. Fortunately so. Unfortunately so. Sally is kind, silly, playful, and somewhat of a trickster. She can get jealous over small things such as new people getting to know her playmates, believing they're trying to take them away from her. She likes having most of the attention, usually trying to outdo someone for it, which comes down to her being a trickster. Despite being wary of around most adults, loving to scare slash prank people and throwing the occasional ghostly destructive temper tantrum, she's mostly neutral towards everyone. But who can really blame her? She is a kid, after all. Sally can... 
Sally can float a few feet off the ground, phase through solid objects, lift certain sized objects, it varies on how angry she is at the time though, angrier she is the bigger the object. This has the effect of draining a lot of energy out of her though, so she usually is less active until she can gather enough energy to repeat. And shapeshift between an 8 year old and 12 year old. Oh boy. Her likes and dislikes. She likes coloring, drawing, dolls, Mr. D slash Mr. Death, her teddy bear. Typical girlish things, i.e. dresses, makeup, and anything, that, anything that's pink. Playing any kind of games, scaring people, watching cartoons, and pranking people. Dislikes, mentions of her Uncle Johnny, killing, spiders, getting in trouble, getting in the way of anyone, the forest at night, dismissive parents, being abandoned. Facts. Sally was created by Lamishi Mishi. She was originally 8 in the original story, but has now been revamped to be 12. Sally is one of the few youngest and famous creepypasta characters. Sally's birthday is April 5th, 1958, and she died on the same day in 1970. She measures in at 4 foot 8 when 12 and 4 foot even when 8. She doesn't kill any more people and hates seeing innocent people get hurt. All she does is scare people. The only person she has ever killed her ever killed is her uncle whom she scared to death in his jail cell. She always carries her teddy bear Mr. D and due to her strong attachment with it Sally has never been seen without it. Sally is not related to Ben Drowned. Sally died long before Ben Drowned was even born. Sally's full name is Sally Mariam Dawn. She didn't like her original last name of Williams due to her past trauma, so she decided to change it to Dawn. Huh. That last one I did not realize that much. First and foremost, we have the original picture right here, and obviously it does always show up near the first few pictures in the, re in the search. We also have this picture right here. It's just... Oh my god, I see one that's so... Ho hold up. Oh my god. This is so wholesome. I could not just let this slide. Ah, uh, no, that's not how. If you look closely enough, uh, I know you all probably can't read it that closely, but as you can definitely tell, this is a picture of Slenderman tucking in Sally to bed. And he's asking her, do you need anything before I go? Water? A snack? Check for the rake? I know sometimes he gets into your toys and makes a mess. That picture is just so wholesome. You know what? No. I'm not going to bother with any more fan art for Sally. I think this is a one of the best pictures of fan art I have ever seen for Sally. I am going to leave the video on that. I don't care. I'm not going through any more fan art of Sally just so I can have heartbreak. Hey, you. Yes, you. Behind the camera. Thanks for sticking around till the end. Hey. This entire month of October 2022, there's going to be one creepypasta video a day throughout the entire month. So, if you don't want to miss the chance of catching the next one being uploaded, make sure to hit the subscribe button down below, ring the bell for notification. And if you really liked this video, make sure to leave a like on the video as well. Put a comment down below, tell me what you thought of it. But other than that, I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.